All right, man. Whoo, boy, it is blowing today. It is blowing it's about 20 mile an hour winds today. Brutal. And that's basically everywhere across the whole state of Florida, man. It's, it's intense today. You know, I'm a glutton for punishment, so we're out fishing regardless. And um, I had to think to myself, you know, where can I go that maybe I can kind of avoid um, too much pain and suffering due to the wind. And, and I had forgotten about this place and it kind of popped up on my radar. So we are at Tenor Rock, public uh, wildlife management area, whatnot. Um, I'd never fished here before. It is a series of like 20 to 30 bodies of water, you know, uh, that are old mines, I believe, that they've dug out. So they have all these different shapes and some are different sizes. It's it's a whole bevy of different, you know, some of them set up differently. It's, it, this is a, my understanding from the uh, research I've done online. So randomly, you know, you pull up, you pay three bucks at their office and you pick one of the lakes. And uh, if that's why you're wondering why there's this pencil right behind my ear, it's because they do uh, creel surveys and stuff. So they give you a sheet of paper or a little brochure for that lake. And then you fill it out as you catch fish. They keep track of like what size range of fish you're catching and stuff, which is cool, man. I'm, I'm all for any scientific endeavor to the uh, management of the fisheries and such. I don't know what that translates to. You know, I don't know how that means for how they stock these lakes. Do they stock them so people can come, can come out and catch numbers? You know, do they manage them so that people can come out and catch big fish? You know, do they manage all the lakes differently? I have no clue. These are all questions I should have asked when I was at the office that I forgot. Until now, I'm standing in front of Hydrilla Lake, which is where we picked. I picked Hydrilla Lake because I love fishing around Hydrilla. I always feel like there's bass around it. So as far as baits, man, you know, we got a bluegill bait tied on, the Mega Bass Baton. We got the bright one today. It's green water. We got some chartreuse. And same thing, we got the seven inch suicide There we go. There's old Mr. Bass. That's a decent one. Heck yeah, dude. Just when I was thinking Hydrilla Lake doesn't have any Hydrilla, <laughs> we got a bite. And the only reason I was thinking that is because I was jaded that there's no Hydrilla in this lake. <laughs> but you know what? Who cares if you can catch a fish? All right, our first Tenor Rock Bass. Thank you. See, there you go right next to all that timber that we're fishing around.